doubles is uh joining us there he is if you're watching the stream you see him okay so the last time you and i talked you were like trying to get out of the way of a hurricane are you okay everything okay <laughs> down there yeah yeah we made it out fine uh thanks to the riders for uh, you know assisting myself and my family for getting out of here in, uh, in, in good time and luckily the hurricane didn't do much damage it was predicted to be a, a, a strong category four and when it landed it was a three and it didn't even uh, divert to our part of Florida so uh, we're thankful for that um, let's start let's put the riders over here for a sec they're under bye week to getting back at it let's start with uh, BC hammering Montreal 27 to 3 oh and lo and behold uh, Vernon Adams goes off. Now, p put us in the locker room there for the BC Lions and the predicament that they're in now. <laughs> well, you, you know what? I think it's a no-brainer. I think you have to go with VA. I mean, you could just see the chemistry. I, I spoke on this last week. The chemistry that he developed with this these receivers started in the offseason with him flying guys out to Seattle and them spending weeks yeah. together putting in the work. I mean, that's when it starts. And then, you know, he led the league in passing last year. And then this year, he just starts off so hot, front runner for MOP. And then, you know, he gets banged up a little bit and loses his job. So I, I don't agree with that. One thing you can't do in sports is you bench a hot quarterback. That just doesn't sit well and uh, usually never works out for a team. Yeah, it's a no-brainer for them right now. It, it becomes an issue once the offseason hits, but we'll we'll face that at a later date here. But um, I, I used the term earlier, doubles, that uh, the business of football can't get in the way of uh, winning football. And, and I would agree with you. I think VA is the hot hand right now. Um, I think he gives them the best opportunity uh, moving forward. And they become a dangerous team um, once again, um, like they were early in the season with him behind center and, and rolling. And especially he's the type of guy that, when he plays with a chip on his shoulder, he's he can be a, a determined, uh, determined athlete. No question, and and you know the main thing with VA is that live arm of his. I mean, you saw in the opening play they go up top, something they've been missing for the past couple months in in their pass game, and guys like Hatcher and McKinnis and um, you know those guys are down the field guys, and and VA is the perfect match for them. Um, okay, so what do you what do you do if you're in charge of the Montreal Alouettes? Because you put up three points, you don't look very good. Your QBs don't look very good. You got one more game, then you got to buy before the East final. Like, what what do you do there? Do you do you roll everybody out and try and knock the rust off, or do you still play the kind of let's rest guys, make sure we're good to go in a couple weeks thing? I think you have to rest your guys. I mean, uh, th there's there's nothing worse than, you know, guys who are playing for nothing playing against a team that's playing for everything. And, uh, you know, the extra intensity that Winnipeg is going to be out there with, I think it could put some of these starters in Montreal in harm's way. And you guys have it all locked up. And you're a veteran team, right? I could see if they were a young team and still trying to figure things out. But they're a veteran team, uh, defending champs, and, uh, you know, Rest could only help a team like that, so I, I think they'll tank it and uh, get some get some of those younger guys some experience and uh, just try to lay down and and just protect yourself. With quarterback specific doubles, Cody's missed some time with injury and then um, missed the game a week ago or prior to there with the uh, um, having his uh, child. Um, so even with him, you're, you're, you'd be comfortable as a QB taking a little bit of that extra time off. Yeah, of course. I mean, he's a vet, and he's proven that he can play. I mean, maybe you give him a, a, a couple snaps early, treat it as if it's kind of a preseason game scenario for him. But, I mean, he's a veteran guy, and you only have to win one game to get to the Cup. So you, I, I, I'd bank on that. i put my money on Cody uh, resting up and the, the team resting and being able to win one game at home. We just had J.O. on, and, and he talked about it after our P.S., the question here, but to you – and what mindset would you be in as a player with this weekend's game with Calgary? Because you're watching that Winnipeg Montreal game, right? And your kind of mindset is like, okay, yeah, we gotta, you know, we win Montreal. Hopefully, they pull it out against Winnipeg. Or then, you know, now the Calgary game doesn't really mean all that much. Like the mental gymnastics as a player, how would you be dealing with that? Doubles. Yeah, that's that's a tough scenario, man. Because you're going to dress and and you know design the roster 
<laughs> as if it's a, a huge game and one you need to win, not one where you want to get some reserve, some playing time. Yeah. So it's a tough scenario. But, uh, you know, if, if Winnipeg wins, then I could see Coach maybe getting Trevor a couple of series because Trevor took a big shot last week when the game was over against BC and well, two weeks ago. And, uh, you know, you just don't want to risk that. You want to make sure he's healthy going into the playoffs. So I can see him getting a couple snaps. And then you, you put Shea in some of those backups in. And, uh, you know, quarterback's really the only position where you can have, you know, multiple backups. The rest of the starters, they're going to have to play. It's just how it is with the short rosters. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's tough, a tough scenario, but you have to rest Trevor. Do you do you know this RP or doubles? Like, uh, what is, I know in hockey, right? You can take the warm up and then you put in your card after. But in, in football, what do you got? One hour. It was, that's what I was just looking at the timing there. So one o'clock game local here, um, out east, um, and then five o'clock snap here. So they'd potentially have um, about an hour before the hour. Oh, so, but, wow. But I think what Doubles is alluding to here is it's we're not going to have 10 guys waiting in the wings, waiting to see um, what the roster is. It's it's essentially whether, yeah. you know, whether Trevor's going to play. Another one that I find interesting, though, Doubles, um, is maybe AJ uh, Ouellette. He's been um, just trying to get back. You know, he's been banged up for um, a big chunk of the season. Great to see him back, yeah. um, you know, the previous game. But he could be another guy. They haven't typically um, dressed a... Uh, a, a full running back who don i guess it dresses as the as the running back um he could take those snaps for sure but uh he could potentially be a guy that i could see being on the roster the day before and potentially coming off if that scenario um were to play out that way yeah definitely he needs as much rest as he can get i mean um you know whenever you're dealing with a lower body injury those things can be tricky a guy falls on you or you take the wrong step, you could re-aggravate that injury. So I could definitely see him, um, you know, being a late scratch if Winnipeg has that game under control. And just even the way he plays, he doesn't oh, go yeah. around, he goes through. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> exactly. Which makes him who he is. There's so. no business decisions. No, <laughs> no zero. <laughs> when it comes to him. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'll be really, really <laughs> interesting. Okay, let's get a little bit of NFL stuff here. Um, Russell Wilson. Now, are, are we thinking Super Bowl for the uh, Steelers or what? <laughs> oh, hey, let's pump our brakes a little bit on that. Now, I mean, there's still there's still the Chiefs and there's still Baltimore in that division. So I wouldn't go that far. But look, I, I, of course, we like what we saw to Russell Wilson, specifically in the second half. I thought he started off a little rusty in the first half, but uh, you know what? What he gives that team is just touch on the football you, if you look at some of those deep throws to pickings down the field i mean he gives them a chance sometimes it's it hurts you to have such a strong arm that you have no touch and russell wilson has touch and it shows on those deep balls he has the command and uh you know it's definitely a good fit for him I, I'm, I'm excited to see them moving forward it looked like you know 10 years ago with him throwing it up to a young locket in seattle yeah. with what he was doing i, I don't I need a few more games to to get to how, how is Russ really cooking yeah. here or was this an anomaly? We can't crown them yet. Not yeah, yet. no. What what about the Jets though? Like, wow, imagine being in that locker room. Man, it's tough, man. Everyone thinks that because you're a good player, you can just walk into another locker room, another city, another situation and just have all the success in the world. It just doesn't work that way. I mean, you know, I, I look at it like me leaving Saskatchewan, which is like Green Bay, you know, pretty much a football town. And then you're going to the big city, big lights of Montreal, where I went, and then New York, where Aaron Rodgers is. And it's just, you know, it, it's just not the same. The environment's not the same. Your preparation's not the same. You have people tugging on you, wanting you to do this appearance here, you know, all of these other distractions. And um, I still think he can sling it, man. He still shows that he has the arm. I just think it has to come together a little bit. So I wouldn't write them off just as yet. Another loss or two may put them in, in, in you know, deep danger. But right now, I, I mean, it's still early. And he's gone on five-game losing streaks. And you remember his uh, famous quote, R-E-L-A-X, just relax. No. And that was after a five- or six-game mm -hmm. losing streak. Yeah. So uh, I wouldn't put anything past him. That was a... That was a, an Achilles ago, though, a long before. <laughs> when, like he's that, not mobile anymore, like in the pocket, right? Like yeah, just, there's yeah. no threat there on him running yet. Anyway, okay, uh, before we let you go, Jamarcus Hardrick came in and co-hosted the show last week. It was so much, so much fun. He talked about that he wants to learn to ice skate. 
and, and I don't know how he's going to do that and all that. And then I thought, oh well, okay, has, has Darian ever ice skated? Can Darian ice skate? What What's your deal when it comes to putting on the blades? Man, I am the worst skater. I think I went to Yorkton uh, for an appearance, and I was dropping a puck at a, um, at a <laughs> hockey game, and just – just you know going out on the ice I almost slip and fell so i was like there's no way i could do this with skates on so did you it's set a big that up no for me <laughs> if if i'd set it up i would have put darian in in skates in order to do that so <laughs> broom ball shoes no, i man, played i it. played a rec yeah. game with the with the riders crew in uh what would have been like the winter of 2013 2014 after after we won the great cup and we were doing a little tour and brendan labat on skates was the largest human i've ever been around on on ice so jamarcus might be was bigger he? than brendan and uh <laughs> they take up a lot of space out there on skates yeah could blue he... move could he move a little bit oh yeah blue blues blues on my list as as one of my top athletes to to be around really? big man wow. like that he he can he can golf he can skate obviously a heck of a football player imagine um, imagine he, going yeah. into a corner with a guy that size or jamark and then getting a reverse hit well that's what i mean <laughs> like you start skating around and you're going it's a large man <laughs> yeah Ah, oh, doubles right on okay uh let's see how it all shakes down this week i'm sure we'll all be watching intently and then uh We'll catch up on Monday. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. All right, on. All right, Dubs.